Hi, I'm Graham Steele, CEO and co-founder of CryptoSense. And today I'm going to talk about how to take crypto inventory. Should we scan file systems or applications? So there are advantages and disadvantages on both sides. So let's look first at file systems. So a file system scan for crypto inventory means we're going to look for things like keys, key stores, certificates, cryptographic libraries, maybe even the binary files of applications that call the libraries. And we're going to collect that all together and that's going to be our crypto inventory. And we can run this kind of scan on the file systems in endpoints, so in the terminals and, and, and mobile devices that we use. We can run it on servers, we can run it on container images for containerized server applications. We can run that everywhere. So we can get a pretty good comprehensive inventory. The advantage is that it usually requires relatively small touch with the rest of the IT crew. So I don't need to ask application developers to do anything, for example. Uh, and if I have a technology for file system management, so something like Tanium that allows me to query all my endpoints, I can normally do this kind of scan in quite uh, an efficient way. The disadvantage is that the precision of the scan can be quite low. So I may be going to see a whole bunch of cryptographic keys which are not used, which are just standard uh, certificates and certificate chains that my particular infrastructure never uses. I can get a lot of false positives, for example, from scanning an application and seeing that in the libraries that it uses, there's all kinds of insecure crypto. So there might be some old legacy MD5, there might be some legacy single des in the library, but maybe that application never calls that library, or if it calls the library, it doesn't use those insecure algorithms. So I can end up with an inventory with a whole bunch of what looks like critical problems to solve, but are actually just false positives. So I get that ease of scanning, but typically I sacrifice quite a lot of precision. Uh, and I have no way of knowing how those artifacts that I'm looking at in my file system scan, how they actually get used. So which ones of those certificates are really being used to protect my sensitive personal customer data, for example? Uh, well, I just don't know from that kind of scan. So the alternative is to scan the application. So this involves doing some kind of instrumentation with a tool like CryptoSense Analyzer, or maybe a static scan with some, some other kind of tool. So the idea here is that I get more of a view about how cryptography is actually being used. So if it's going to be used, an application is going to use it. So I can see inside that application, I can get more precision about what data gets encrypted with which keys, which is stored where. Uh, that's the kind of view that CryptoSense Analyzer can give from, from the inside of an application. On the downside, I have to get my development team or application team to do at least something to, to get that scan to happen. So either they have to give me access to the source code repository or maybe they have to give me access to a jar file or a bytecode file that I can do the tests on. Maybe that I need to put a line into their CI to, to see that stuff. Uh, but the upside of that is that when I've identified problems I have a direct route to actually getting them fixed. So I know which application teams to, to speak to and I can track those issues being fixed as that goes on uh, with my application analysis tool in place. So there's advantages and disadvantages on both sides in terms of, of getting that going. A typical uh, pattern that we're seeing is that we start with a file system scan because it's low touch to get an idea of the priority areas and, and what really needs attention. Uh, maybe to get some buy-in that there's really value in doing the exercise. And then we move from there into the application scan to drill down on precision and really cut out the false positives and make sure that we only get to work on the problems that really need resolving. Of course, at CryptoSense, we have tools for doing both. We have file system scanners and application scanners. And we'd love to talk to you about your crypto inventory project and find out a little bit more about what you're up to. If you want to find out more about crypto inventory, we also have videos describing all kinds of aspects of inventory, different experiences with different tools, compliance regimes, and so on. You can follow the links here to find out more about that.